We've given away Jeeps before, but no Jeeps like this one right here. Meet the daddy of all Jeeps, a 392 Jeep Rubicon. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the official walk around of our next giveaway. And this time we're giving away something completely special. I'm really excited about this one. This is a 392 Jeep Wrangler. The king of Jeeps, right? Or That's what did you right. say? The daddy of all Jeeps. <laughs> it's the top of the line, the beast, monster of a Jeep. And uh, you know, last time we gave away a Jeep, you guys all loved it. So we're like, hey, let's do another one. But this time, let's just step it up a notch with this one. Top of the line Jeep, you guys. and. This one has a lot of ground to cover because it's all custom built. It's got a lot of pretty cool goodies to get you out on the trail, enjoy what a Jeep life should really look like. So today we're gonna be basically taking you on a walk around of all the details of this build. But first let's dive into the details of our giveaways. If you're new here, welcome. Yeah, we run uh, some of the shortest giveaways out here in the country. They range from three days long to two weeks long, and uh, it's just a mystery with us. Yeah, we've been we doing do. that for, uh, what, six months now? Almost uh, uh -huh. seven months, eight months? Yeah. Yep. So it's been a while, guys. Uh, we've been doing some of the shortest giveaways, and uh, this is no less than that. You got just one week. One week to get yourself entered into this giveaway right here. Yeah, it's technically six days. It starts on Monday, April 15th, and it ends on Sunday, April 21st. So this Jeep right here also comes with one of our biggest cash prizes that we run is $50,000. So that is it comes in a form of a check for you to cover your taxes, whatever else you got to pay Uncle Sam. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty left over after you take home this truck, uh, this Jeep right here. We we'll keep wanting to say truck, truck yeah. we're so used to trucks. <laughs> so this, right, is a, this is a definitely a baddie right here, you guys. You've got this beautiful 392. And let's dive into what 392 means right off the bat. Yeah, so 392 is a 392 cubic engines. This is a V8, 6.4 liter V8. monster. He did say V8. V8. That's insane. They shoved a big old engine into this little thing and uh, it handles and drives uh, like a dream. The one thing that most Jeeps are missing is that power because when you look at a Jeep, you can tell it's a big, bulky type of machine that's pushing air when you're driving through it. <laughs> so you need that power. And when you have a V8 under there with, uh, with all that power, that's not even an issue. This thing has 470 horsepower, 400 feet, pound, foot of torque. 470. 470, 470. Yep. 470 about pound foot of torque. <laughs> it's a little tongue twister, I always get that messed up. But it's got plenty of power. It's a V8 Hemi, uh, top of the line Jeep right there. So it's got plenty of power to basically propel you over your trails mm -hmm. on the road, which is great, um, and push those big meaty tires. And if you want to smoke some people on a stoplight, they can definitely do that. They'll be surprised, <laughs> they'll be surprised. I think 060 is like low, low fours right there. So for a Jeep of this size, it's pretty impressive, for sure. Dig. And that V8, that V8 is a sound that every muscle head loves. I, mean, I love a V8 sound, dude. That oh, yeah. deep rumble. Uh -huh. uh, it's, so, it's so sick. So definitely plenty of power under the hood here. And um, the color of this thing is a bright white, beautifully, beautiful, clean build right here. Mm -hmm. So we've got color match fenders from the factory right here which you know, not all the Jeeps have. So these are factory color matched, which really keep that clean look flowing through the rest of this build. You know, we forgot to tell them the year of this thing. This is uh, 2023. Beat you. <laughs> <laughs> with um, 2,500 miles on it. 2,500 miles. So it's uh, technically a brand new Jeep, uh, just breaking in through its cycle. I think you gotta hit like 3,000 miles before it's actually broken in. <laughs> Is that official? No, I just made that up right. to make it sound brand new. <laughs> uh, eight speed automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. With paddle shifters. With paddle shifters. That's a pretty cool little feature. Mm -hmm. Pretty clean, so let's dive into some of the rest of the little details of this. So it, we do, did do a little bit of wrap uh, around this build right here. So we've got the hood wrapped right here around the hood scoop 
to give it that more aggressive look. And as you can tell, the, the accents that we played with was the white color contrast along with the black. And you just can't beat black and white, you know? It's just mm -hmm. clean, crisp, and that's what we went with. Yeah. We've also got these uh, uh, fender pockets right here um, wrapped as well. And it says in our 31, which is what this giveaway is. It's our 31st giveaway and along with our logo right there. And because I just covered this hood scoop, this is a functional hood scoop right here. This is, comes from the factory uh, to basically cool your V8 engine down there. So I learned a little cool fact about this roof scoop. Uh, it can actually take, and so underneath the hood, hood scoop, there's pockets where it lets out water. Let's and just this, show them, let's just show them. What, and uh, this thing. This is how you open uh, a hood, by the way. You just got a little latches, a little different on a Jeep, if you, if you weren't aware. First time opening this hood. It's always awkward how huh? everyone's watching. Everyone's like, you don't know how to open a hood, bro? I don't, I don't. I know, every car is always different, so it's, <laughs> the pressure's on. I don't. So these pockets, right, and then it comes out, the water comes out of here. And it says that it can siphon 15 gallons per minute. If you put 15 <laughs> gallons <laughs> per minute, it'll drop it all down. All right, <laughs> so we're not gonna test that, you guys, but you can. The next little uh, river adventure, you take this thing through, Let's pour some water in there and just see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's cool. But yeah, 392, you got 392 on the engine, which That's a big sick. motor, dude. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's super tight in here too. It's got the S&B intake as well. Mm -hmm. Opens up the air valves, makes it scream a little bit louder. So yeah, the air comes through this pocket into the air intake and all the water drips down into this vent and the vents in the back. So yeah. really cool. Functional hood scoop right there, you guys. That's what we like to see. We don't want to and see. And 392s only have the hood scoop. Yep. The mm -hmm. other Jeeps don't have a hood scoop. Yeah, because they don't need it. This is a V8, baby. V8 <laughs> power right here. So looking up the front here, you guys, we've got, of course, a front bumper right here. This is a uh, Poison Spider front bumper. It's very aggressive. Uh, I think this is, looks like a, a, what do they call them? Snubbies or whatever, nubbies? I don't know what they call it. Stubbies. 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 <laughs> That's right. Stubbies. Stubbies. Stubby bumper. And uh, this is perfect for when if you are off roading, you know, you got your front end fully protected and this is very heavy duty. And talking about off roading, you know, you're probably not going to have an issue. So you probably don't need this, but your buddies might. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you've got a uh, Smitty built uh, 10,000 pound winch right there. Yeah, it's got a remote control to it. So you just unwind it wind it back in with a remote and uh, you're good to Comes go. Comes in useful, man. Yeah. The one time you get stuck or your buddy gets stuck, having a winch is a lifesaver for sure. Uh-huh. And it's got Morimoto lights all around this bumper. So you got sets of four all controlled individually in your rocker panel switch uh, in the interior. So you got a whole bunch of lights in here. You got four over here, two fog lights, headlights. I mean, plenty of lights. Which is light cool, up. man. I, I'm a big supporter of lights especially if you're going those night rides which are fun if you can't light up the trail it's a little little sketch mm -hmm. so having a bunch of lights to light up the trail is is a must for sure yeah this i mean everything on this thing has pretty much been touched from all of your uh arms over here your stabilizers everything's heavy duty yeah. look at this thing i mean this is this is solid man this is solid this truck this jeep was built and with the mind of, if you're taking off-roading, you're not gonna have an issue whatsoever getting on a trail, climbing in your rocks, having fun with it, anything breaking. That's what the build has in mind for it. It's got the Falcon steering stabilizers, uh, which are really cool because you, they're low profile, but then they're also adjustable in firmness. So that is a really cool touch and is, a big plus when you're carrying these big tires around. Do you know what lift is on this thing? I think it's like a two inch lift. Two inch lift? Two inch lift. Looks so, really good. It looks sick. It looks the, the very proportional. The yeah. tires, the wheels, everything uh, is very proportional, giving you the clearance that you need. Mm -hmm. um, looks good. Not too big, not too small, just perfect. That's how we like it. <laughs> yep. Uh, Falcon uh, piggyback with piggyback reservoirs, uh, shocks all the way around. four shocks have those uh, piggyback reservoirs, which are really cool because they have a uh, quick 
switch on them as well. So it has three different settings, uh, soft, cus uh, custom, and firm. So you can easily just on the fly flip that switch. And it also has a micro switch with eight individual settings to fine tune those mm -hmm. shocks right there. Super cool touch, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So after, all that's aftermarket, by the way. This is not, this doesn't come stock with a 392. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty badass, man, huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like the way it looks, it's so perfect. Like I was driving around yesterday and I fell in love with it. It's a very, very nice ride, comfortable. It's got tons of power too, mm -hmm. handles really well. I mean, it's got the Jeep handling where it's kind of loose, mm -hmm. but that's just the Jeep. Um, yeah, the one thing we always said with Jeeps that we've uh, drove around, when we drove around a few Jeeps was it felt underwhelmingly underpowered, which is, you know, it kind of sucks. So that's where this thing makes up, is all that power under here. Um, let's talk about the wheels. Yeah, so these are 20 inch Method beadlock wheels which is really cool. And they're sitting on 38 inch tires. Cooper Discover tires. All right. Brand new tires right there, you guys. 38s. 38s, yeah, big meaty tires. So when you go off off road, you guys, one thing you do is you air down your tires. You want to make, you don't want to be riding on full set of air in mm -hmm. your tires. So this is what's so cool about this Jeep is you get hit the trail, you air down your tires, you go have fun with your buddies. Well, now the day's over, you got to fill them back up. So, <laughs> thought of everything. So, right, right back here, you're gonna, you're gonna open up right here. You're gonna attach your hose right here under the seat, and right here under the seat is where you'll attach that hose and you'll fill up your tires back up and hit the road. Can you turn it on? Just show it to them. There's a button right there that you switch on. Yep. Boom. Boom around the compressor. The compressor is up front in the engine compartment, perfectly hidden, and yeah, just pump them up like that. Really cool. Really cool touch. Yeah. That's uh, that's one of those things not every build has in mind, but if you've been rough roading long enough, you know that it comes in super handy, uh, not just for you, but for everybody else on the trail. So. You can charge them for your air. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cents a min minute. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, give them a little, here's my card, and accept tips, make sure you accept tips. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone accept tips now. Huh? I mean, for that service, that's a, that's appropriate to accept tips, Absolutely. you know? <laughs> yep. uh, coming back here, you guys, we do have our AMP uh, research steps. These are heavy duty steps, and uh, yeah, very handy when it comes on the trail. You definitely yeah, don't Jeeps want those. Jeeps don't come with these. That's yeah, they really don't. Cool feature. Yeah. And one of the reasons is because uh, why this is so nice is you want to keep that clearance when you're off on the trail. And so that's what this does. It still gives you the extra step, but then it also keeps that height clearance mm -hmm. when it goes back in there. So pretty cool touch. Yeah, very cool. Man, this thing's cool. This thing is. <laughs> it's fun, man. I wish we, uh, I wish we were in the time to go off-roading with it. Oh, maybe we could. We can take our other vehicle in this one. And Everyone go always gives us crap for it. Hey, you don't put miles on our on my car, you know. So we, we take care of you guys, but sometimes it's a little hard. <laughs> Seriously. So we've got rock lights. So we put uh, inner force rock lights all the way around. How many was there? Like 22, I think. Probably. That's, that's that sounds about car. right. Yeah. So rock lights, uh, which are very useful in this case, uh, because if you're off-roading, you're going to be illuminating the road underneath you. You know, if you're doing those slow trail crawls, you do want to see all the rocks and it looks super cool as well. Mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. rock lights all the way around and moving back So the here. roof on this thing actually comes off. If you guys didn't know, the Rubicons or all the Jeeps, you can take the roof off. We're not going to take it off in the video because it takes a little bit of time, but uh, you get the <laughs> it point. Comes off. It comes Trust off, us. there's a cage in there and uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, coming back here, we've got tinted tail lights. Um, we've got a full size spare as well. And- um, Which is a must. It's a must, especially yeah, when you're off-roading, you do need to carry that around, so. You're not gonna put a little 33 inch tire and then your falls off, you know, you're like, uh. Yeah, you got, you, you pop a tire, now? no worries. All it takes is unscrewing another one. You already got another one right there, so. Uh, let's come back under here, huh? Yeah, look at this. We got a skid plate over here. Look how thick that skid plate is, though, too. That's, uh -huh. a, that's some thick steel under there. Makes you want to land on the rock just to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, yeah, full, full skid plates underneath there protecting your undercarriage. Um, we've also got the Magnaflow exhaust right there 
which opens up that V8 power. And it sounds really good too. It sounds good, it really does. Let's see how, show them how the door opens. So the door opens just pulling this back. Handle. Door opens with your wheel attached. Glass comes up and you got the Jeep inside. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Over here, this is where you place all your screws after you take off your top, which is really and cool. You got, yeah, so screws for your door hinges, which is cool because they labeled it all and all the Jeeps have it. They label out your uh, door hinges or bolts right here you know, all your screws, so really cool. Keeps it all very organized. Mm -hmm. You got a sub in the back, which Alpine is really nice. Yeah, this thing has really good sound. Does it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Sounds really good. Jeep is stepping them up, stepping it up. I mean, what is this thing worth? It's a $100,000 Jeep. It better, have, it better have some good sound <laughs> <Better>. in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom, done. You got a reverse camera on here which makes it nice. So all the windows as normal are tinted. We got 20% 20, 20 tint all the way around with a 30% tint on the windshield, adding that little bit of character to it, you know, protecting you from the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, let's see, that's about, that covers about the outside of this thing. Yeah, it's so. built up, it's built up, made to be an awesome daily driver and a badass off-road vehicle. So the outside of it looks sick. So how about the inside? Let's check out the inside of this thing. Dude, the inside is sweet. Boom, your amp steps come up. So right here, we've got a uh, fully leather wrapped, 392 badged seats right here. It's got the bronze badging. That is the 392 standard to have that bronze badging. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's got, uh, so this, this Jeep comes in four auto doesn't come in two-wheel drive. This one always has four-wheel drive kind of engaged. You got your knob when it's just set in four auto. I think it goes to rear wheel and then it switches into um, four high, but then you got four high and a four low on here. You got your diff, front diff, rear diff lockers. You got your sway bar that you can disconnect with the hit of a button. It's super cool, man, that mm -hmm. having a sway bar disconnect like that on the mm -hmm. trail, that's, that becomes, a game changer for sure, especially if you're playing a roll, crawl over some rocks. Back in the other old days, you had to actually disconnect the sway bar manually with a few bolts and a few <laughs> screws. So having that as an electronic component is a is a big bonus right there. Yeah, it's got heated seats up front, your updated infotainment system with everything you need, um, your auto car play, Android Auto, a um, whole bunch of features in this thing. Loaded, it's got uh, also adaptive cruise control, which makes a nice cruise up to the mountains or the trails you're going to, really sick. And the best part about this interior that I absolutely love is the sunroof. Sick. <laughs> That's a sunroof of all sunroofs right there, man. <laughs> so it's actually the roof that opens up and closes. If you hit a button, it'll close and seal it air, air and water tight and it goes past the back seat, which is very convenient. I mean, you're driving, you're like, hey, let's pop the sunroof open. You can open it up and yes, you I get even the whole call thing. that. I don't even call that a sunroof at this point. <laughs> That's just the roof, you know? Like the whole roof freaking pops right open, man. That's yeah, really cool. Really cool touch. Because the previous Jeeps, they had a bar over here and you just got these two panels. front panels yep. that you take off and then you got to take off the rest of the roof. This thing, you can just take off. Yeah, this thing just eliminated all backside that right Backside of the roof. Look, look how much room there is. I'm oh, yeah. sticking out of here. Yo, get into the win this Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, another cool thing is those shocks that we mentioned, right? Those shocks are really freaking cool because you've got to actually switch for them. So right here, there's actually a button that says auto, though, which, puts the suspension, the shocks into an automatic mode, but then you also can click this, uh, you can manually control them by just tapping down below and you can set them to firm or soft. That's that's really cool. cool. Switch. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. I was afraid to hit it yesterday. <laughs> <No>, really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta hit as many buttons as you can to figure out everything out. <laughs> so really cool switch uh, that comes in probably pretty handy on the trails. So mm -hmm. eight inch infotainment screen right here with all your controls for your media, your navigation, your all your cameras, 
Um, it's got this leather wrapped steering wheel, which feels really nice. Your paddle shifters right there. Um, and a very well built interior. It just mm -hmm. feels solid in here. Um, I, th I would say it's waterproof. I mean, it looks pretty waterproof. I'm, I know back in the day they built them waterproof. I'm assuming this is probably Where you waterproof. take a power washer and <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> I've seen that with MJ cruisers. Yeah, people do that all the time. I would kind of feel probably I probably wouldn't do that. I mean, a hundred thousand dollar Jeep, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll get a cloth out and just wipe it out. Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be good enough. But yeah, really nice, comfortable type of just feels good. You know, the the feel of riding a Jeep is also of a. You're, you're kind of, you're sitting up over the hood a little bit. So it's a little bit of a different feel, um, mm -hmm. but it feels good. It does feel good. The seats feel comfortable. The doors come off, you guys. Doors come off? Doors come off. You can take the doors off. Are you going to be, be one right of those now. guys that takes off the doors? You see, you always see those. Dude, I'll definitely have it without the doors. It's a vibe. It's a vibe for, for sure. For sure. Stick your leg out, you know, get some air. So right down in the bottom there, you have your switch as well for your rock lights. So that's where that's placed. Uh, you just pop that on, turn, turn your rock lights on, turn them off. Very simple. So you guys want to hear the sound that a V8 Hemi makes? Go back Definitely. there, check it out. I'm going to start it for you. I got the mic over here. Let's see what it picks up. Sounds good. Did you know that there's a switch on there to make the exhaust louder and, or Yeah, that was, on, that was on performance right there. Where's that switch though? Uh, <laughs> right there, the on, see the on? Oh, okay, right there. Yeah, yeah. so another button, you guys. <laughs> another button right there. I guess it makes it a little bit uh, louder when you have that button on, you know? Yeah, this thing's cool. If you don't want to scare people around you, you turn it off. But, oh man, everyone wants to hear a yeah, V8 sound. Yeah. Nobody's going to blame you for that. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no Tesla. So you guys, that, this is what we do. We give away badass cars, Jeeps, trucks. In this case, it's a badass Jeep Rubicon. It's been almost a year since we've given away a Jeep. Yeah. So this is your chance. If you wanted a Jeep, you've been asking for a Jeep, this is your chance. This is your one week actually to get yourself entered to win this thing along with 50 grand. How do you get in her, bro? Guys, anything on a website that you buy, like a shirt, a hoodie, a hat, will get you automatically entered to win this beast. And then another option is become a VIP member for under five bucks a week and be locked in into every single giveaway that we do. So. Yep. One of our latest winners, one with a membership. We've had a few, how many others? Four, like, I four, think. Four for others that one with a membership. So a pretty, cool thing that we've been promoting just because mm -hmm. some of you don't want to get entered by buying a t-shirt. You just want to be entered into all of them and have that chance. So that's the way to do it, you guys. Check out our VIP memberships. Don't want it, go buy a t-shirt, go buy a hat. It gives you the same amount of chances as anything else. So mm -hmm. why, you get the highest multiplier with the that's membership. Right. That's so. right, that's why people keep winning. Do we have all of our winners come from our highest multipliers? Yep. So which is on the first day or VIP memberships. Yeah. So you guys get yourself entered. I mean, this whole thing is up for grabs. It's a one week only, which is crazy that we're running some of the shortest giveaways out there, giving you just one week to get entered to win something that's absolutely insane. You don't mm -hmm. see on a road that doesn't come stock from a factory like this. You guys yeah. just saw all the cool features that went into building such a cool Jeep that is road ready. It Daddy comes with all Jeeps. Daddy of all Jeeps, baby. <laughs> it comes with the keys. The title free and clear, by the way, there's no monthly payments. It comes free and clear and with a check in your name. So if yep. you want to be that next winner, man, you know what to do. Go get entered. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. All right, you guys, good luck. See ya. We'll see you next time.